In this video cheat sheet, we're going to enable the BGP routing process on router 1. First, we're going to do the baseline show command of show IP BGP to see if the BGP process has already been configured and running. Then we're going to implement the debug IP BGP events command so that as we configure everything, we can see what, what uh, process the router goes through in uh, enabling a BGP routing process. And then we're going to actually enable the BGP routing process and then do some verification show commands at the end to see what's available to us now that a BGP routing process has been enabled and to see what default commands uh, have been put underneath the BGP routing process. So let's look at the network topology. Like I said earlier, we're going to be implementing uh, or enabling BGP here on router 1 in autonomous system 2. It's already been enabled on all the other routers so we're just going to do it on one router because if you can do it on one you can do it on seven. So let's get started. Let's do the show IP BGP command as our baseline command that I mentioned earlier here on router 1. And as you can see BGP is not active. So let's put in the debug IP BGP events command so that we can see things unfold here on the router as we enable BGP here on this router. So now I'm going to put in the configuration or conf t uh, as it's affectionately known as and then router BGP and then the autonomous system number of router 1 which once again is autonomous system 2 and so that's that number right here too. That's the autonomous system that this router is going to be in. And the number can actually be a number between 1 and basically 65,000. But we're going to be an autonomous system too here on router 1. So I put that in. And then here's some debug commands that are coming out where it's, it's starting to do some computations for the different address families and, and we'll get into what all that means in the advanced uh, BGP video cheat sheets but once again as you can see there's there's some more output here coming there's, there's some scanning for VPN v4 address families scanning for IPv6 it's starting to go through its BGP process now that we have enabled it here on the router. So this is kind of a, a good way to see that BGP is starting to kick in. So I'm going to go ahead and turn debugging off with the unall command. And you can see all possible debugging has been turned off. And let's do our show IP BGP command to see if anything has changed. And we're not getting any output, but we are. Because if you remember, from earlier when I did a show IP BGP it gave the output of BGP not active now when I do the show IP BGP command I don't get that which means that it is active so our change took so now I'm gonna do a show run pipe begin router BGP I wanna see the running configuration but I don't wanna see all of it I wanna begin at the string router BGP which is the string that we just put in with the 2 on the end. You don't have to specify that. Once it finds router BGP, it will start there. So we're waiting on that to go. Let uh, There we go, finally. So router BGP, there's some default commands that uh, are, are put underneath here when you enable BGP. The first one is no synchronization. We're actually going to cover what that means and manipulate that in another video cheat sheet here in the BGP Basics video cheat sheet series. So we'll go over that. Uh, also, BGP log neighbor changes is enabled by default and no auto summary so that BGP doesn't automatically summarize prefixes. That's also enabled by default. So, in conclusion, we did the baseline show command, show IP BGP. We did the debug command, and we saw the, the output from that as we enabled the BGP routing process. We did the show IP BGP verification command, where it, we did see that it was enabled, even though it didn't give us any output. And we looked at the default commands that are there when the routing process is enabled.